Hi, howdy. How's it going? This is Miriam coming to you live from the Becoming Miriam podcast. Woohoo! Um, I needed to just like sit down and try to vent and try to just and try to just uh, get some feelings out of my body and try to get rid of them. So that's what I'm here to do. But first. And foremost, there should be another video podcast today. So if you want to check out the video, you can catch that on Spotify or on YouTube. Also, last week, I was talking about how the universe is my rival and how it was just against me when it comes to trying to film my podcast. And I would like to report back that that is still the case. (sighs) Like heavily the case. So two things. First, I still don't know where my tripod is. And then to make it worse, so like I mentioned last week, I had a second tripod that I used for my phone and I just like took the attachment off to make it a normal camera tripod. So cool, yeah, that's great. Except then I went to my mom's house and I took it with me and then I forgot it there. So now I don't have any tripod because I still don't know where my tripod is. So then I tried to record on a different camera today right now like i was like well i don't have a tripod so i'll just use this and i i don't like the like it's on my gopro so it's like a super wide like almost like fisheye lens and i just i don't i didn't even bother i like saw a sample of it i was like nah so now i just like tried to stack a bunch of stuff together to get my camera into a decent position so i mean hopefully it's working But how ridiculous that I lost my second tripod again. So very upsetting. And also the second thing was going back to last week's episode. I uploaded the episode three different times. Three different times I had to like export it and upload it. And like upload it to spot like to my the Spotify for podcasters thing. And also onto YouTube three different times. Because I run everything on an old old macbook like super old and i mean shout out to my computer because it's been going strong for i don't even want to tell you how long because it's probably embarrassing how long i got it in 2012 i think maybe 11 but i think 12 yeah super old super old macbook but that's what i use for like my filming and my like podcast and stuff and it finally ran out of storage because I have all my like videos and my podcast on there. And so I think because it ran out of storage when I was trying to process my video, it was only processing like the the episode last week was like 32 minutes almost or something like that, but it would only process out 28 minutes and then it would just like like give you an error, like it wouldn't it would just give you an error. And so I didn't know that, so I kept uploading it to like to my podcast stuff and then on YouTube it did upload, but then at, it just like ended early. So like when I watched it after it was published at like 28 minutes, I, it just cuts off and I'm like, where's the end? And then on my podcast, it like kept failing the processing. So it wouldn't even publish. And I'm like, what is going on here? So I did it three different times before I finally figured it out. And I went and like deleted a bunch of my old, like just cleared out some storage on my computer itself and then tried again and then it worked but like I don't even know am I gonna have the same issue today probably you know so I gotta figure something out there but yeah so universe was against me three different times I tried to post it until it finally worked it was obnoxious totally obnoxious um today what shall I talk about today so so much um i do want to start off by saying that i took a ton of really positive steps today to try to overcome the birthday blues so i actually woke up on my first alarm which is a very rare occasion i can't wake up early to save my life but i heard my alarm and like I knew that I was gonna probably have a difficult day because it was already starting yes since yesterday I was like already feeling the the emotions and stuff so I knew it was gonna probably be a hard day and I was like I'm gonna overcome the birthday blues this year so I woke up 6 a.m and I went out I've been wanting to do this and I I do hopefully can incorporate it more often but I went out to this like little park field 
spot. Um, and I took my yoga mat and I just kind of like sat out there and I did a meditation. I did some affirmations and I just got some morning sunlight. You know what I'm saying? That's great. Love that. Um, then I went to the Starbs and I got myself my free Starbucks for my birthday. Um, because treat yourself and because I don't have to pay for it because I'm poor. So, so then, yeah, I went to Starbucks, got myself a drink. Then I came home, still had an hour left before, you know, having to start my day. So I did my makeup because if I look good, maybe I'll feel good. And also I feel like if I have makeup on, it'll help me hold it together. And like, you know, so, so far I have taken those steps to have a really positive day and I you know I had a positive good morning and like I said I, I I want to like do this more often like every day I would love to wake up and go outside and get some morning sunlight and meditate outside in the fields and blah 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 you know what I'm saying um so yeah so that's how I started my day so I am wearing a little bit of makeup to try to keep my life together you know what I'm saying so if you haven't picked up what I'm putting down it's my birthday and I am um, struggling with the birthday blues. What's new? Um, so my thoughts were if I just try to vent, get them all out, maybe they'll leave my body and then I can feel better. Um, which venting of course always has a great positive, I feel like, impact, I don't know. I don't know, I do believe that, you know. Vent, talk about it, get it out. It's better than holding it in, so that's the theory here today um i've i've probably talked about it before on like past episodes i've always struggled um a lot with the birthday blues um i don't know why i don't know i don't know why i i just like can't just be happy you know i was hashtag blessed with depression and with freaking mental illness so you know, great. <laughs> yeah, I've always kind of struggled with the birthday blues. And I, I don't really know. Like, I think I think that I... How do I say this? I, I know that there are reasons, like valid reasons that have added to why I get the birthday blues. But I feel like even before these reasons, I've always struggled with it. So I don't think there's like a a real like reason why it started in the first place um i've just always felt it i've always felt i get into like this dark mindset of like comparing comparing myself in my birthday to all these other people that i see who like get celebrated by so many people and like everybody is like showering them with like all this love and this and it's you know beautiful to see but I get into that dark place where I compare myself and like I m get a few text messages and like that's it you know like a lot of people forget about my birthday which is fine I don't remember anybody's birthday if I'm being honest shout out to technology and so I have people's birthdays in my calendar so it reminds me every year because I have terrible memory um and so, like, I don't remember people's birthdays. So, like, why would I expect people to remember mine? But I don't know. I just, I used to get really stuck into that that kind of mindset where it's like, oh, nobody cares about me. Like, I'm not important. I'm not special to people. But I think, and so that's, like, the one where I'm talking about, like, there's no reason for that. Like, that just kind of, like, has been happening always for, for no reason. Um, but in more recent years, I think the birthday blues has shifted to more valid reasons, which, I mean, it's still, like, sucks, and I wish I didn't have to deal with this, but um, now I understand, like, a little bit more, like, why I, I feel this way, and um, I think that the, you know, like, one very prominent reason this year is um Eliza and not having her with me you know this time last year Eliza got sick and um I remember like like praying and like just begging God like all I want for my birthday is for her to be okay and like 
Yeah. Um, and, you know, as we know, she was not okay. And so here I am, a year later, celebrating my birthday without my heart. And so that's really hard. And it's really sad. And then I also just think about the other people in my life that are gone. Other people that I wish were here that aren't. Um, Other people that don't get to celebrate their birthdays anymore. And that's really hard. Um, And again, it just kind of adds to this dark place in my mind where like I start to wonder like why do I get to celebrate and why do I get to keep going when they didn't and then I like get into this really self defeating like bullying type of place where like I start comparing the type of people that we are like I don't think I'm a bad person but like I just look at how great they were how great Denisa was, how great Steven was, how great Seth were, was. They were amazing people. Like why like why did they have to leave and they don't get to celebrate anymore, but I do? Like that doesn't it doesn't the math is not mathing. Um and so yeah, I just I just feel a lot of sadness on my birthday because it's supposed to be such a happy day and like you were blessed with, you know, another day and you live to see another year and you're getting older and I don't know, all this stupid like happy stuff, but I don't feel any of that. And it sucks because like I said, like I've always wanted to have happy birthdays. I've always... I've always wanted to like throw parties and take pictures and like do all the fun things but like I one don't have the people in my life to do that with and two I just can't help but feel all this sadness for the people that aren't here and all the people that I wish I could celebrate with that I can't um and all the people that I just feel like they deserve they deserve it more, you know? So, yeah. I don't know. I try so hard I try so hard to not feel this way. Like I said, I feel like today I, I did a really good job. I'm proud of myself. Pat on the back. That I got up early, I went outside, you know, bring, get in the sunlight, I meditated, I did affirmations, I treated myself, I took care of myself, like, all these steps that I, like, I'm, like, I tried. You know? For what? Why? Like, why do I feel, why do I still feel the sadness? Um, I don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep trying and hopefully next year if i make it i'll have a happy birthday um i will say you know just to kind of switch this up and get a little bit more on a positive side i turned 29 today next year like i said if i make it i'm gonna be 30. and i am a firm believer maybe i'm just in denial i'm a firm believer that the 20s are the new teens and the 30s are the new 20s so like we're just getting started you know what i you know what i mean like i'm in, i'm entering my last year <laughs> of my teens and so next year i'm going to get you know life gets started for real hopefully <laughs> so next year for my 30th birthday i'm going to throw a big birthday party i don't throw parties because <laughs> I don't have anyone that will come to the parties, you know, like it feels so like where I get stuck to is not to get all sappy and sad again, but like it's, if I get stuck and it feels hard to like celebrate myself, like it feels like other people should celebrate you, right? Like 
it just feels weird to like, I'm going to throw a party for myself. Like I'm going to buy my, it's like the people that like, I got a notification on my phone today and it was like from Google and it's like, happy birthday. And then it had like a button, like sing happy birthday. Like, why am I going to have my phone, like me sing to myself? Like that's what, that's what it feels like. It just feels weird. And so I don't throw parties and nobody throws parties for me, but next year I want to throw a party and hopefully people come. I want it to, in my mind, the vision is like a big anime party. So cosplay is required, but so is attendance. Um, and yeah, like in my, the vision is like huge. Like invite everybody I've ever known. And again, hopefully people show up. I guess we'll see next year. But I think if I don't chicken out and if I follow through on that party, hopefully it'll be better. You know, I don't know. Um, anyways, my nose won't stop running and I never am prepared. So I don't have any tissues near me. So I think I'm going to just wrap it up and go. This was short. Like I said, I was just, I just kind of wanted to get it out. Um, I do feel better, you know, talking about my anime party. So thanks for listening. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Bye.